Hello, my name is Ken Span. I'm one of the lead cybersecurity engineers here at Pillow Technology. Today we're going to go over threat hunting. What is threat hunting? How do we define it? What are some of the commonly used tactics? And then what is the benefit for your company and your organization? Number one, what is threat hunting? Threat hunting is defined as a proactive search through your network, through endpoints, through your data sets in order to find potentially malicious, suspicious, and otherwise risky activity that could evade your current tool sets. So what are some common tactics? Number one is intelligence driven. Amongst threat hunting tactics, intelligence driven helps us to organize and structure the hunt. This type of hunting revolves around threat intelligence reporting and often involving active exploits. So utilizing third party uh, news feeds such as CISA, FBI, Polar Technology. Hunters are alerted to this new activity and then we'll craft our hypothesis and plan our hunt around that. Intelligence driven hunts are not built on indicators or IOCs. These hunts are usually, are usually looking for specific behaviors of the actors and their tools. So these are looking for specific TTPs, softwares that are utilized. Target driven. Another common, common threat hunt is target driven hunting. It's a tactic that acknowledges that hunt teams might not always have um, the most time or resources to focus on certain hunts. This type prioritizes based on likelihood the targets of the adversaries, focusing on things like authentication systems, data repository, cloud infrastructure. This type of hunting allows organizations to most effectively use limited resources and limited timing. The third one is technique driven. Technique driven is one of the most common threat hunting tactics. It is, but not always focused on miter tag. The choice of this technique will depend on a variety of factors, including the applicability of the technique in your environment. So for example, if you don't have Linux, you wouldn't focus on techniques that are derived for Linux. This tactic is quite useful to hunting hidden threats in an organization in an environment that might be uh, hidden in, to, to the organization in whole. This tactic can also prove invaluable to the organization to learn about new things in their environment. A great example of this is that you may not be running obsolete software. If Microsoft never patched something in an end of life software, it's still applicable today. If you run a scan on your network, what you will see is that you'll still have vulnerabilities that were labeled for Windows 2012, Windows 2008, Windows 2008 R2, something like that. But you may not be running that software. It's still applicable. The technique driven is excellent because that's exactly what it's designed to do. It's designed to show you what's inside of your environment and the threats that are commonly in your, uh, in your organization. Find out more about how you can develop these and tell them with your teams the best practices and how we can mature these processes. If not, allow Pillow Technology to come in and drive this practice and to show you the, the value of this type of activity and this routine exercise. Remember, keep up with the intel. Keep monitoring in order to respond quickly and how to respond. Follow Pillow Technology Partners on LinkedIn for real-time updates. Make sure you sign up for our blogs and our CDI events. Thank you so much. Bye.